Hi, I'm Ben Orford, and we're in the Craft Lab today. And we just want to give you some advice on how you go about choosing a really good axe. Obviously, we're going to show you features that you need to look for, and we're going to try and steer you towards a general purpose axe. Now, a general purpose axe is just that. It's an axe that will cover lots of different applications, but it won't actually be specific to one particular task. But if we just have a look at the axes, and we can talk you through some of the features. So the classic small forest axe, which is probably the most common bushcraft axe in use, is the perfect axe pretty much for every kind of application. It's not too heavy, it's only about one and a half pounds in weight, and the handle is only about 19 inches long. The great advantage of having a slightly shorter handle means that you can use it for lots of different applications, so even if you're using it for heavy felling, you can use both hands and give it a real good swing. But also, when you're using it for craft work, it means that you can hold it close to the head and the handle's not so long that it's going to catch on your body or your clothing. Now, the other things to look for when you're actually looking to choose an axe is you want to try and make sure that the actual head itself has got a really nice, gentle taper. So you're looking for something that's got a very thin bit and then coming up into these nice, strong cheeks. That's going to give you a lot of bite to the axe, so it's going to cut really well but those strong cheeks will actually help when we come towards splitting, so splitting timber. The other thing that's a really useful asset on your general purpose axe is to actually have a square pole on the back of the axe. Now this is gonna enable you to use it as a hammer for knocking in pegs, but also it's gonna allow you to use a mallet if you're using it for cleaving timber down. Now, obviously, if you're gonna use an axe for lots of firewood production, if you're gonna to have to do lots of shelter building, then this short handle is going to be a slight disadvantage. You're not going to have the same kind of leverage as you would with a big axe. So the next jump up is the Scandinavian forest axe, which has got a slightly heavier head at about two pounds, but the handle is much longer. It's 25 inches long, which is great for heavy production of firewood and uh, building shelters, but you can't really use it for craft work. If you are going to have to use it for craft work, you're going to have to be so careful because that long handle is likely to catch on your body or your clothing. So really, only specific if you're going into very cold environments or you're going to have to do lots of, lots of heavy work. The other axe that I really like to use, and this is purely for craft work, is the little wildlife hatchet. It's got a pretty much similar shaped head to the other two axes that we've looked at, but the handle is much shorter. It's only about 13 inches long. This enables us to get very close to our body, working with craft work, spoons, general carving. You're not going to have any fear of that handle getting in the way. The other great thing about the fact that it's slightly lighter is you can use that all day and you're not going to get any wrist ache, you're not going to get any fatigue. And it's still got the same attributes that the other axes had, the square pole and the nice convex grind that we're looking for on, on the axes. Now, the only other axe that is a slight oddball are, is the, uh, the carving axe. Now, the carving axe is only really applicable to when you're actually doing heavy craft work, you're doing some real big stock removal, if you're making bows, if you're making bowls, things like that. It's got a much wider cutting face, and it's got a much heavier hand, head, but the handle is still quite stumpy. But with this very strong curved cutting edge, you get fantastic slicing ability with the axe. It's not the kind of axe that you would take out with you into the woods because it is so specific to general craft work. The one thing I would say when choosing an axe is try and make sure that you have a really good forged head and a really good quality hickory handle and make sure that it comes sharp and comes with a good quality axe cover or a leather case to protect you from that cutting edge. But hopefully that little bit of information will make choosing an axe a lot easier. If you've got any questions, then please drop us an email through the description at the bottom of this video. And hopefully that will help you get the right axe for you.